Hey, you should be aware that Tubbs received this product for free. <laughs> hey, thanks for checking in on Bathtub, sir. And I am currently in the tub with Last Encounter, but will it be the last time we play this game? <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to set the stakes so high there. It's just the browsing music in the background. I got carried away with it. Um, so this game was released on the 8th of May 2018, and it's currently priced at £11.39. And um, that's full whack at the moment. There's no sale. Uh, I mean, there could likely be one in the future. I don't know. Can't see into the future. But yeah, at the moment, if you want to play Last Encounter, you'll have to pay full price. It's developed by Exordium Games, and they were kind enough to give me this copy of the game for free. Um, I think they must have seen that. The uh, roguelikes are a huge, huge staple of the In The Tub With series, um, and if you haven't realised already, this game is in fact a roguelike. It's a twin stick roguelike set in space, deep space, and I think the uh, the killer sort of feature of this one is that your weapons are highly customisable. Uh, you can like, say if you for instance you get a laser, you can then turn that into like a rapid firing laser, maybe a full beam laser, I'd, I guess we'll jump in and see how many lasers we can make. A well-hidden and secured scientific research center has just finished the Project Gilgamesh. It would grant humanity an incredible new possibility. By copying and transferring the personality, scientists led by Dr. Daniel Connor would grant humankind a new life. What about cloning? An eternal life. And then, disaster struck. Sudden surge of energy in Jupiter's orbit left open a space-time wormhole. Through it came a vast fleet of ships of unknown origin. The Dark Ones attacked. The first contact with an alien species proved to be a run-in with the end for the humankind. In the near days, humanity was annihilated. Its resources stripped. Dozens of millennia of human history, gone. One hidden outpost survived. The scientists were able to replicate a one-way interstellar portal. Site's security force was sent in it to try and close the Jupiter wormhole from the inside. They never returned, and Jupiter portal is still open. It is up to you to investigate what happened to the fleet and try to accomplish their mission. With the help of Dr. Daniel Connor, you are able to reboot your existence and retry until you succeed. Good luck. <laughs> Connor is such a uh, such a cliche <laughs> sci-fi surname, isn't it? Um. So just before we get into this, they said that they never returned, but yeah, that must have been they're successful. Wasn't they meant to shut it from the inside? And of course they can't get back out. Okay, but that's fine. I mean, I really feel like we got chucked in quickly there. Um, I wasn't a huge fan of the text-to-speak narrator, but it's cool. Um, I like this guy, Dr. Daniel Connor. Subject 12A, hey, are you there? Can you hear me? Can you hear me? What's going on? Can you... Oh, you can. Good, good. Okay, this is the deal, Chief. We don't have much time left before the next scheduled rotation, so listen well. You're about to go on a secret mission. It's crucial for, it's crucial for humanity's preservation. Don't worry. I and my staff will help you along in any way we can. Do you understand? No, I still can't hear you, Connor. Speak up. Okay, good. The first thing you'll need to do is choose from these synthetic bodies we've engineered for this mission. Wait, so what am I then? Just a consciousness? Their capabilities vary, of course, so try and find one that best suits your style. Right, uh, what do we get to pick? Um, blue or red? I can't, I can't pick. Oh, okay. I think that's player two. Yes, I think this actually has co-op capabilities. I should, maybe should mention, uh, mention that a lot sooner. But we can either be uh, Yun Tao, Trey Jones. Oh, wait, hang on. No, 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 sorry. I thought you could change like the different characters in the class, but all the different characters are different classes. I mean, he has loads of pluses. This dude, is he easy mode? Let's do it. Before he entered the Space Fleet Marines, he was a gamer and he stayed a trigger heavy guy. Oh god. <laughs> what if he's a gamer? He must be perfectly suited to deep space combat. Will be you. Next thing you'll have to do is choose a ship. All ships are equipped with and share the same basic technology. There are small variations. The best suit your combat style, so choose the one you're most comfortable with. Okay, shield explosion, a bullet, shell, so that's like a shotgun, cloaking. Bullet Absorber and Beam. I mean, we did mention lasers. Um, Warcry. Increased damage and fire rate by 50%. This, I mean, that's more of like a party buff, but we can still be useful in solo play, surely. Let's go with this. Great. Looks like you're all set. Nothing else you need to know about all of this. Let's go. You're ready. So head through the portal just outside the station. Okay. There we are. We're tiny. 
Ah, okay, then this would be where we can uh, we can buy stuff. We have no money right now. It looks pretty cool. It is very twin stick shooterish. Oh, ah, okay, so there is another port we can go into to the dark galaxy. I mean, the story sort of uh, takes a background seat here, isn't it? It's all about the unlocks and how far you can progress and taking out bosses and stuff in games like this. Take it all in, subject. The Dark Galaxy, home to the Life Enders. Cool name. Mindless, power-hungry warmongers with no respect for life. They took everything from us, and yet we still don't understand or know anything about them. Uh, they look like dangerous mines. How do I shoot? Okay, right trigger. We've got 10 seconds invincible, so can we trigger this? All oh, right, okay, so just shoot it. This is our money for upgrades. Oh, okay, I think that's uh, like a wall of sorts. Oh, God! All right, should be fine. Just trying to learn what everything does. Can we break them? No, so you can only break the cracked meteors. That makes sense. Do I have some sort of dodge roll? I think I'd need it. Oh, no, we're gonna lose our credits. Oh, shit, I went into the, the shitty gas. How do I get this then? Just shoot stuff seems to be the key right now. Oh, oh, don't let things shoot you. I mean, he hasn't given us any uh, <laughs> any indication of what our controls are. Oh, bastard. Oh, invulnerability. Nice. So what, is it a good idea to take the vulnerability and charge in? All right, so they pushed me out. Okay. I don't want to go through the gas. Is this an enemy? Right, take out the little bastards. Now, that thing in the middle. Oh, is it spawning them? Yes, okay, it's like a nest, a space nest of spaceships. Now, when do we get to mess with our guns? Shit, I'm missing loads of credits here. Oh, bollocks. That's fine. We've got a nice groove on. Oh, what have I done? I think I activated our war cry. Okay, that's fine. I mean, I wasn't sure how to do it until it was too late. And I didn't, in fact, mean to do it. It's very hard to dodge here. <laughs> I need some sort of like barrel roll button. Let's mess with all the buttons. Oh, what have I done? Okay, so that's our map. Let's shoot. Oh, there is like a little dodge thing. Okay. I wonder if you get invincible frames when you're doing that. I know that means invincibility, doesn't it? Oh no. Okay, it's a different buff. Go, go, go. Die, die, die. It's very fast paced. Like actually in the combat, the, the bits between aren't so fast, but when you're in it, I mean the enemies are no joke, even these little fuckers. Sector clear, perfect. Is that like the basement done? Admiral's recording. We've been ambushed again. I won't let that deter us, however. The fleet is still strong and we will go on. We have to. Seems they had a really rough time here. Right, we won't get anything for that. Have I woken something? Oh! Oh, fire rate pack. Yes, okay. Permanent pickup. That's good. I'm all down for that. So now we fire quicker. Destroy all of this. Okay. Alright, so if we move along, we can change guns. But we don't have any others yet. Where's the way out? Must be up here somewhere. Oh, we don't have to backtrack all the way, do we? Because sector's clear. Should just take us out from where we are. Um, <laughs> sector clear, but where do we go, game? Pause it, continue. Oh, there's the controls. Special ability, nice. Dash, yeah, fine. Switch lock component, right. So the controls are pretty basic. Not much you need to know. But now it's good that we do know them. So if I was a clear sector, where would I go? I think I know how to move on. We have to open our map, maybe, and move over here. Yeah, oh Jesus, that was not clear at all. Thank God, I'm a brilliant, intuitive man. We knew exactly what to do. Okay, now we can take out these bastards. So, oh no, we're nearly fucking dead, I think. Health. Let's activate our ability. Why is that fucker not dying? There we go. And you can all die as well, you bastards. Get all this beautiful stuff. Oh, I didn't see him around there. <laughs> I just had my eyes on the prize. Oh, there's too many here. There's too many. Get out. Oh, there's a black hole there. That can't be good. 10 second invincible. Go, 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 go. Fuck him up. Fuck him up. 
There we are. It's kind of hard to aim, you know. I don't want to know what happens if I go in there. So these bastards have shields. I don't know what these blue things connecting are. Right. Get all the stuff. We've got 272 gold. I think one of the cheapest things in the shop beforehand was about 300. Cool. Okay. It's kind of fun to be fair. I've got to admit. I don't know if it's quite scratching the roguelike itch that I look out for, but I'm having a bit of fun. I can't, I mean, I can't tell if it's easy or hard. I keep looking at my health and it's not really dropping much, and I feel like I'm getting hit all the time. So I think the shield regenerates, which wouldn't be a surprise. It's a kind of a staple of shields. They do tend to regen. But what the fuck is that? That's a cool looking portal, and I want to go in it. But first, we'll destroy everything else. I want to see if I can get a permanent upgrade. I really don't want to sound sort of a derogatory to this game, but it's it's my own sort of uh, ignorance that I just compare every roguelike to Isaac, because it's the one that I put the most hours in. You probably would have heard me compare all the other roguelikes we've played to Isaac. And so I sort of just try and find the similarities. Oh, sector clear, okay. So if there's a permanent upgrade here, that would be my equivalent to a chest, you know? And because these are the early levels, I'm guessing these are equivalent to the basement and stuff like that. But I mean, I suppose I need to uh, understand does this game stand on its own two feet? We got our first quee, uh, key <laughs> quee acquired. It's too soon to tell you, I think, but we did get a key. I don't know what that does. Right, okay. oh, okay, so on the first sector we was in, you can see there's a chest with a question mark at, there at the end. I think we got it, but I'm not sure. Treasure. Well, there'll probably be an X with the treasure if we did get it, so maybe we didn't. Although, right, however, looking on this side, we've got the key, the portal key. And that looks to be done. Alright, so you move all through these areas before you get into the next place. Maybe there's a boss at the end. Oh man, okay, tricky. I like these little mini boosts. Plus 10 damage. Oh, that's another recording, I think. 10 second invincible, okay. I, I would like to find another weapon by now, I've got to be honest. Oh, nice, we used the bomb to kill that dude. That was great. Okay, interact with you. Admiral's recording. The enemy seems desperate in their reckless head-on attacks. However, we will not falter. We've lost some units, but our mission is not compromised. Hopefully, the objective is near. I'm sure it is, Admiral. And what's down here? A big purple thing. What the fuck? Oh, oh okay, so this is where we have to go once we get all three keys. Not a problem. So let's go over here now. There better be two keys in these last bits. Ten seconds invisible. I'm pretty sure they can still see us. Oh, fuck. How do we get through there? What is that? Oh, that's the spawner, isn't it? I know that answer to that question. Oh, nice. We're getting some decent buffs, though, I think. Them lads are a little bigger. Still no problem. What are you? Five seconds invulnerable. Probably to help take out this bastard. Perfect. Yeah, I, I think I can cement the fact I am having fun. This is uh, quite satisfying to play. Oh shit, I did just lose loads of my shields though. But look at it, yeah, look, it's regening super quick. What have we got through here? I like how the meteors take and make up a lot of the terrain. So you need to weave in and out. I mean, the enemy design, we could not a lot of variation, I don't think. But I mean, we are very early on in the game. We could be seeing a lot of crazy shit. Oh god, like that yellow bastard. It's not like the look of him. We can't break through there. Shit. Oh, there's the... <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to go in. Let's use that cool ability we have. Look at all this money. Right, I like these laser bastards. Shit, shit. No, we're doing alright. Take him out. Oh, thank fuck. Sector clear. That's our second key, isn't it? I'm not mistaken, there we go. We're doing alright. Oh, there's the cooldown for our ability, just to the left of the character portrait. Let's make sure there's nothing else here that we can get. Nope, there's a lot of holes. Right, let's go find our last key and then take on a boss. Oh, I want this. What was that? Speed? It looked like speed on impact, but I'm not sure. Oh man, our health. Okay, we took a beating here. 
Play it cool. I just want to get the last key. Let me find a boss. Okay, cool. I mean, as I mentioned earlier, the story does take us a second seat to this sort of game, or this sort of genre, I find, on the whole. Um, but this is, this is like the most cliche of the cliche. I don't feel invested in uh, saving humanity at all. No, I say that, although that's a, a stark contrast as opposed to Isaac, which has one of like a really deep story if you dig into it. But okay, looks like some shit's gone down here. Captain Leo Frost, what's going on, Leo Frost? You look really cool. To anyone who might find this, if there's still anyone left, this is Captain Leo Frost. Our mission to close off enemies' portal was a close success, but our fleet, we, we've been defeated. There's only a handful of us left alive. As the highest ranking officer, I am assuming command of these remnant forces. There is nothing we can do to close the portal from this side. The enemy forces are just too strong. I've decided to lead the group further into the portal network to try and find a different solution to the problem. There seems to be a closed portal nearby that is not as heavily guarded. We will take our chances there. Yeah, okay. That's good news. That's good. Dr. Tenacons, I can't hear you. We have to try and reach the survivors. What the fuck is he saying? Oh, I want this. Should we interact with this first? No, get that first. Component. Alright. Ooh, okay, it's a different kind of gun. Different fire rate for sure. Yeah, oh, it mows them down. I mean, we did get the permanent um, rate of fire upgrade. So in, conju in conjunction, we're firing pretty damn quick right now. Get out of it, get out of it. I find it so hard to aim, I've got to admit. Oh, we might die. Oh, we got 100% damage. I think we just got full shields as well. And there's our last key. Take out all these fuckers while we've got the buffs, and then we'll head back and inspect some of the shit. Unfortunately, the power differences in my ships and those of the weapon components make their use of finite. Oh, okay. They will break after some time, though. I might be able to produce a more permanent prototype if you collect enough data. Hmm. Oh shit, so that awesome gun we just had is no more. <laughs> That's a real shame. Oh god. How many enemies are there here? Right, let's get back to here before we lose out. So there's something else I can inspect the wreckage. It's the entire fleet. It's gone. They're all gone. You've led them into a massacre, Admiral. You unstable idiot. Leah, there's a chance she made it out. Set scanners to locate First Officer Suit Tracker. She has to be alive. She has to. We just we just know what happened to her. We heard a recording. We've heard the message already. Yeah, okay. All right. So, for what you're saying about the weapon? If we find it enough times, he can maybe find a blueprint so it can be become permanent. Is that how it's gonna work? Sector clear. Fuck yeah. Right. Let's go. We got the key. Uh, let me get what this is. Five second invulnerable. Okay. Right. Let's uh, get out of here. Let's unlock the huge lock. I inspected you before? Um, it was down, wasn't it? Right, now, would it be a boss fight? I hope so. I mean, that's pretty cool. Portal to uh, Materion? What's the worst that could happen? I don't know what a Materion is. I'm sure we can blow it to smithereens. Don't forget to use your active ability yet. Yeah, it's a useful tip. Ooh, it's fucking horrible. What the hell? Look at this. It's like a jungle in space. How is this even possible? I don't know, but that's cool. It's a, it's a needed change. Yeah, you know what? This is, this is pretty good, you know. There's a lot of stuff to contend with, a lot of stuff to learn about. I like it. I, I would say I want to find weapons more often. I thought that was gonna. I thought that was a huge aspect of this game. You find weapons like really commonly, and you you tinker them on the fly. Uh, maybe I just uh, misinterpreted it. Or maybe we just haven't got there yet. Oh, this bastard's annoying. Shoot. <laughs> so, they, they're not enemies, they just... Oh, look at that. Okay, is that invincible? I think that's invincibility. Yeah. Oh my god. It's hard to work out what's an enemy in this area and what isn't. What's that? Opens up a lot of little seeds. Ish. Okay, let's get this spiky conker bastard. Oh, I think we might die. <laughs> It's going visible. Oh, I don't like this area. It will kill us. Is that a key? Yeah, we've got a portal key. Sector's not clear. I wonder if you can jump out if the sector's not clear. We're about to die. It's over. 
Good night, sweet prince. Fuck off, Conker. Yes, okay, I've got health. Oh, we're still going. We're still going. Yeah, back off. Back the fuck off. Oh, look, these throw out little spears when you get close. Jesus Christ. I can take out these dudes, I think. Just lure them around here again. There's one more. I don't like how... Oh, okay, they're being spawned. That's our problem. Yeah, I don't think we'll make this. <laughs> That's a good start, though, taking out the second Sparky Conker. What we really need to do is take out this thing. There we go. We used our ability. All right, that's got to be sector clear soon, right? Just waiting for that to pop up. Oh my god, there's more. We did well there. We did really well. We've got 10 second invisibility, but I don't know how well that works. Because they know where we are. Oh, thank fuck. Invulnerable. Oh, so the level's a lot bigger. Oh no, it isn't. Why are we all gold now? Is that because does that indicate we're invincible? Let's find the last of these enemies. I can't destroy you, can I? No. What is this? These look like native ships. They seem unaffected by the parasitic uh, life that blooms here. Don't get too close, though. Oh, but I mean, we're literally right on top of it. Fascinating creatures. In theory, they're ugly and evasive in practice. Do me a favour and just shoot them down. Okay, so not that bit. What I want to get is the sector cleared bit, and I'll be a happy, happy space marine. Um, no, not you. Oh, there, I bet that's the last bastard. Sector clear, perfect. All right, and I think on that sector cleared note, we're going to leave this episode there. Um, I was a little bit apprehensive as we started this game. Um, I think the intro is pretty bad, I've got to admit. I didn't enjoy that opening um, animation. But it's quite fun to play. I don't know if I conveyed that enough in this video, but it is pretty cool to play. Um, it seems like there is a lot to discover. Like I said, the only drawback is that I thought we'd be getting guns a lot quicker. But I really like the environments we've seen. I like the, the enemy types. It's hard now. Look at our health. <laughs> We're going to die next level. But yeah, there's a lot to discover. I think it will scratch that itch of uh, constantly unlocking new stuff. And so if you enjoyed this video of Last Encounter, please go ahead and leave a like. It helps out a great deal, and I really do appreciate it. If you want to see more, we do it in the tub with every Monday. We also do Let's Plays on the channel every other day of the week, and we also live stream every Wednesday and Sunday. So there's plenty here for you. Please go ahead and, uh, please go ahead and subscribe, and I can bring that to you. If you've got any questions you want to raise, have you played this game? What are your thoughts on it? Uh, have you been looking at it, and uh, this is maybe tips you over the edge? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll make sure I get back to you. All right? See you.